hi, this is Florida Native. And for those who are new to my channel, I try to give messages from Spirit about uplifting those who need a little joy and love in their lives that need a little positivity and to look at spirit as our never-ending supply of guidance so I'm out here I'm having a beautiful day and we have beautiful sun a lot of greenery the wind is blowing it's not too hot yet here in Florida in fact it's a little dry but I enjoy it and I just want to share my day and see how everyone's doing I wanted to bring some messages from spirit there goes the butterfly and that's about transformation. Butterflies are always my symbol and a lot of other people's symbols of transformation. And I brought my coffee out here, so I'm gonna grab that. I did start with water today. Spirit wants me to drink more water, but I happen to have a nice little treat of iced coffee. Mm. It's very refreshing. <laughs> it's just a Starbucks. I'm going to put it in my little canister, my little container. And um, right now I'm surrounded by my plants, some desert rose, some desert roses that we uh, plant that we bought at the local hardware store. And just, and I'll probably show that one day, but right now I don't have my selfie stick. And um, we want to talk about the transformation that's happening all the time in, in, in you, within you, around you. And that's what life is about, is the many transformations that we go through, through the ages, through time through circumstances in our life, through many lives possibly. For some of you, you've gone through a major transformation. Perhaps you've gone through some hurdles that you are waiting to heal through. And that's what the theme is, is going through those emotions and giving yourself the care and the love and the patience that in time, your emotions will transmute into something beautiful and God will support you in all your endeavors. Mm. We really have to be patient because there is that there is that element of divine timing and you will catch your break if you're not already receiving the blessings. It's also a balancing of good times and bad times, right? What life gives you. And some of us are able to take those lemons and make lemonade, as the saying goes. And some of us are able to take that experience and help others and help others transform. And perhaps you have this amazing life now where you've overcome things that that have bothered you, that have hurt you, that have possibly just rocked your world. Maybe it, everything that you thought was real and everything that you thought was 
um, solid, possibly shattered. And so this message is for some of you that have gone through this. Some, some for years, some people I'm picking up that a lot of you have gone through this for four or five years, some even longer, and you're just waiting every year you say, this is going to be a better year. I hope this is a better year. I know this is going to be a better year. Well, I think that year has come in 2024. You've put your time in, you've put the work in, you've put you've put your spiritual team to work for sure. And we want to remember to be grateful and thank God and thank our ancestors. Because a lot of us have ancestors that go back generations and possibly millennia that we are not aware of that we have no idea who we're connected to, why you have spiritual gifts. Perhaps those were gifts that you developed in other lifetimes or other parallel universes, however you want to perceive it. Everything is possible and it's up to us how we're going to use it in this lifetime, how we are going to benefit, how we are going to change our own world and the things we experience. So hopefully you could hear me. It's really quiet out here. So I know some of you are inside listening, wishing you're outside. But if you have that opportunity, definitely go and do that. Because nature has a plethora of blessings for you to enjoy to help on your transformation in life. The sun feels so good. It's truly a healer a lot of people don't realize that perhaps you have had experiences where you're told not to go out in the sun you're not you don't want to get darker or you don't want to you know ruin your skin and everything is in moderation i i think i have a good balance of being in the sun and being indoors, but my preference is to be outside. And in Florida, especially in the summertime, we don't wear a lot of clothes and I prefer to be near water. And in the background, you can see the river. It's really distant, not that distant, but I haven't been in the water lately, but it goes out about 400 feet and you're still at four feet. You could walk out there and then at the dock or what's left of our dock, excuse me, a hurricane took it out. A few hurricanes and tropical storms have come through the area and um, a lot of the docks on the river have been destroyed. So, but it's a great place. People are skiing out there getting their jet skis, boating, fishing, it's brackish water. And if you have that, if you're blessed enough to be near water, it is a great healer and it's a great healer of life. And it is also a transformer. It transforms, think about water. Water is extremely powerful. If you've been to the beach with high tides and rip currents, and even water and flood, flooding water, there's nothing to stop water. Water goes through cracks, water flows. 
and that's synonymous to life. It never stays the same. Water is always flowing and your life is always flowing the energy, your moods, your attitudes, your perception is always changing. You're always transforming physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So if you create that right environment or you are led by spirit, by our guides, you're so supported. I don't know how to to really emphasize that for you and for everyone around you. And of course, everyone has free will. So, and I'm sorry about squinting because the sun is right in my eye, but I really, I really needed to be out here. My soul wanted to be out here. I have to listen to that. And it's about listening to that guidance, about listening to what your higher self, what your God self wants. I mean, you could see the wind or you could, I could feel the wind. You could probably see it out as it's blowing around back there. So it's not completely silent, but You are in the middle of your transformation. Some of you, a huge transformation where you're guided not to look back. You're guided to move forward and you're, you're guided to embrace the changes that are coming, that are happening. And to create, be Be a participant. Don't just be a spectator. That's important. We have the free will. So if you're in a dark place or if you know people that are in dark places or they're, you know, at a lower vibration, they're, you know, not having such a great time here on earth. If you can, where you can, be that influence. Spread joy, spread happiness. Listen to others when they need someone to listen to if you can do that. Obviously, don't overload yourself if you have things going on in your life, but there's always opportunities, and God gives you those opportunities. Wow, look at this day. Look at the sky. I've got water, earth, air. The sun would be fire. And I use the elements to help heal me. And if I'm feeling down or if I'm feeling stressed, I just come out here. So when you create a space and it doesn't have to be elaborate it could be just like this I'm on a platform it was an old dock that washed up during a during a hurricane it's probably someone it's our old dock coupled with someone else's dock and we saved the wood and it's a little platform that I don't know if you could see this let me show you And you could surround yourself with beauty, the plants, or whatever. It could be a room in your house. You could have an altar. Something that makes you feel good. If it's candles, if it's sage, if it's artwork, maybe it's your own art. These are the things that are going to help your intuition to strengthen that connection with God. You don't have to tell anybody. You don't have to make it a big thing. It could just be something for you, something secret, something private. But find that place where you could go inward and be with your thoughts and be with 
your emotions and be with your spiritual team, be with God. A place to connect. It doesn't always have to be on a chair, lotus style, with your eyes closed. I like to have my eyes open because there's so much beauty around me right now. And if you could stay in that space of gratitude, I thank God, I thank God, I thank God for surviving, overcoming any health challenges, any emotional challenges, any work challenges, you fill in the blank, whatever it is, because we, the challenges are going to be there. But without challenges, without that type of movement, the universe pushing you, you could think of it that way. There's not going to be any growth. And we are here to transform. We are here to transform. We are here to grow. We're here to learn lessons. We're here to 